Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're getting ready to do a field trip. We're heading out to a place called Napotnik Welding Supply, and they're going to supply us some automation equipment so we can do testing of tungsten. Now, we want to eliminate all the variables possible, so we're going to do various tungsten, uh, automatic grinding, and motion control is going to be automatic. So uh, come and join us. We're on site at Napotnik Welding Supply House, and we're in their demo room. And the unique thing about this demo room is if you want to come here and try out a machine before you buy it, you can try anything out. Now we're taking advantage of that. Now some of you have asked about tungsten, what's the best tungsten, why you would use certain tungsten, and we've told you this many, many times, but we're going to show you a scientific way of testing your tungsten. So because there's so many thousands of variables in tungsten, we're going to narrow it down. We're going to use an automatic track that's going to give us our travel speed. We're going to take room temperature materials, and today we're going to test AC welding of tungsten. So how much does that tungsten break down when you're at the maximum? Today we're selecting four different tungsten. We got the tungsten from CK Worldwide. We've got four different types of tungsten, and I'm going to set each one of them up. I'm going to precision measure them. I've got a precision grinder, so they're all ground the same way. And the offset is going to be exactly the right depth. So we're eliminating as many variables as possible. We're also going to use this little uh, Link Electro 200 square wave. Now, the square wave is an AC-DC machine. We're going to be on the AC side of it. Uh, I've got the machine already preset, uh, and I'll repeat it a couple more times in case you're doing your own testing. But remember, an inverter machine doesn't challenge your tungsten quite as much as you would with a transformer type machine. So all of these tungsten have little features that are better on some machines than others. So, uh, you know, I've told you all along my favorite tungsten is still 2% thoriated tungsten. It's the toughest for every machine that's out there. So I'm taking all inclusive every machine that's ever been made, transformer and inverter. When you get to an inverter, one thing to keep in mind is everyone is so used to using uh, green tungsten or pure tungsten uh, on the old transformer machines. It was taught for 50 years. That's not what we want to use on an inverter. In fact, the performance on an inverter is not very good. So if you're having a problem, at least you can use that as your excuse. So uh, I'm going to set up here and I'm going to get everything set in place. Again, it's going to be room temperature, uh, heavy wall thicknesses. My measurements are going to be right on. Again, you can see I've got four different tungstens. They've all been ground as closely as possible the same way. So uh, let me get my gear on and we'll get started. Okay, I've got my, uh, my buggo system all set up. It's called a gopher. I got the travel speed set electronically here at 10 inches a minute. Now, this material is room temperature, so every one of these that we test are going to be at room temperature. Now, what's really critical is I already set the depth of the tungsten. It's at a quarter inch. Used a gauge for that. I now have an 18 gauge piece of metal that I'm using to set the offset of the tungsten. So that's the gap between the part and the tungsten. And 18 gauge is approximately 40 to 43 thousandths. Uh, in thickness, so we'll use that in every test. So we're going to do four tests. Uh, my machine is set at 185 amps. The machine will actually go to 200, but that tungsten at 185 amps for that long of a run, you're, you're hitting 80 or 90 percent of its capacity. So let's see what it does. The first tungsten I've got is the laser tungsten. Okay, so that was about a minute arc on time at 185 amps. We're going to take this tungsten out as soon as it cools off. We're going to put a fresh piece in there. 
it's going to have room temperature again and we're going to do this all over again with a different tungsten. So let me set up. Okay, we're getting ready to run the 2% uh, lanthanated tungsten. Same identical parameters. I've got 2% uh, serrated tungsten in here. All the parameters are identical to the previous two. We're at 10 inches a minute, 332 diameter tungsten. We're running 185 amps. Hey guys, this episode of TIG Time is brought to you by Napotnik Welling Supplies. I happen to be in the showroom here and it is filled with equipment in all types of supplies. Now they also have a demonstration room here where you can take anything in the showroom before you buy it, go in and practice and see if you like it in the demonstration room. If you can't make it to the showroom, go ahead and, uh, and click on this link so you can shop online. Now let's get back to welding. Okay, now we have 2% serrated tungsten, 332 diameter, same travel speed, same amps, 185 amps. The stick out is absolutely identical, pre measured at 250 thousandths. Okay, now that we've tested four different tungsten, you know, obviously you want to know what the results are. So, you know, we'll scan up close here and I can look at all four of these and it's very difficult to tell. Uh, again, I ground them at a 45 degree angle. That's critical. Travel speed's critical. The height that you run your tungsten is critical. But one feature that you need to be careful on, if you're, if you're destroying your tungsten, you're, you're either over amping it. And again, I ran this at 185 amps. Uh, I ran, you know, 10 inches a minute, but I set one function on my machine that'll deteriorate or it'll adjust perfectly for you. So you can do that, and that's the balance control. Okay, so I was set on 73% negative balance. Now you may have to go to 70 or 69 or 74. That's the fine line. Never do you want to go a 50-50 balance, and that's one of the, the most made mistakes. When you do that, it challenges your tungsten and it just balls up and destroys itself. So, uh, it, you know, as I was testing here, I was looking around. We're using the, the Link Electric TIG 200 square wave. We're using it on 220 because we had to get, you know, a full amount of amperage out of it. And I could have gone a little heavier than that, but 185 amps, that's really where you want to be with this tungsten. But I was also noticing that in this facility here, they've got 240, 483 phase. I'm looking at a couple of different demo booths, and I'm hoping uh, that we get invited back to do some more demos here. So I, I just want to thank uh, 
the Potnick uh, Welling Supply House, and uh, I hope to see you back here sometime. So if you want more information on, on what they've got here, uh, just take a look at our show notes. We'll have a link for you. So thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.